discuss about software design and design notation. Design notation means the representation schemes used are of fundamental importance. Fundamental design concept is good notation can clarify the interrelationship and interaction of interest. The design representation consists of two things. One is good, another one is poor. Good notation look like a clarify and can explain the interrelationship and interaction of interest. Means they explain the internal activity and to create a communication link. Next, poor notation can complicate and interfere with good design practice. Poor notation can confuse and complicate and interfere with the good design practice to learn the how to do draw the good design to practice and then and then do good notations good design to develop three levels of design specification exist one external design specifications two architectural design specification 3. Detailed Design Specification Let's see External Design Specification which describe the external characteristics of software system. So external design means outside appearance and physical appearance of software design. The physical characters of software design is a external design the next architectural design specification architectural design means internal design so internal design specification is which describe the structure of the system so internal design means is internal design specification which describe the structure of the system that means the building the structure the building the internal structure Detailed design specification which describe control flow, data representation and other algorithmic details within the modules. Detailed design means full design specifications. Full design means is a brief design. Brief design to describe the each module functions that is control flow, data representation and other algorithmic details so full entire functionality designs is a detailed design next software system design software design con system contains many types let's see one by one one data flow diagram 2 structure charts 3 hippo diagrams 4 procedure templates 5 pseudocode 6 structured english 7 structured flow charts first one data flow diagram what is mean by data flow diagram? It means DFD. Describe the flow of data or information into and out of the system. Data flow diagram means the flow of the data or information of outside the system. The clear representation of the flow of data informations. So one data, where is it go and where, where is it come? So we can understand, we can describe the flow, the symbol, the flow of the data to get to the information of the, that particular design. DFD is a graphic representation of flow of data or information through system. So graphical refer representation means 
the diagrammatical representation to flow the where data is going to internal system and how to data activate and uh, how to produce the output the information through the entire system dfd elements dfd elements means here one table is visible so flowchart symbols meaning explanation here the vowel symbol is start and end the symbol denoting the beginning and end of the flowchart like start program starting and program ending next square step meaning step explanation this symbol uh, shows that the user performs a task note it many flow charts step and action are interchangeable the next third one diamond symbol is a decision this symbol represent print where a decision is made so decision if conditions for conditions while condition giving in the box then slanting square action symbol this symbol means that the user performs an action note it many flow charts steps and actions are interchangeable this action button is used to the process then arrow mark flow line a line that connect the various symbols in an ordered way next types of data flow diagram the formal data flow diagram another one informal data flow diagram formal data flow diagram means the data flow between sequential routine data flow between concurrent process data flow means flow of data where uh, flow of data means the input on going to process then come to output the sequential means one by one one module and another one another one module uh, processing another one third one module processing one by step by step routines the data flow step by step the data flow between the concurrent process concurrent means multi process so the formal data flow diagram to use sequential routing and concurrent process data flow diagram do not indicate decision logic or condition under which various processing nodes in the diagram might be activated so the data flow diagram does not indicate decision logic so that does not have any decision symbol or conditions only for processing symbol only contains in the data flow diagrams so data flow diagram is a sequential and concurrent process and no decision logic and condition logic only for flow of data and normal processing informal data flow diagram that means data flow diagrams bubble chart or directed graph the nodes specify processing activities and the arc specify data item transmitted between processing mode so bubble chart the bubble chart contains uh, circle various circle the one the circle is uh, denoted to nodes another than the arrow mark denoted to arc so node is uh, represented the processing and arc represented the transmitted the information this is a basic flow chart shapes process decision document data and etc formal data flow diagram here oval and triangle and square and oval means start read a read b calculate sum as a plus b print sum and end here start a is equal to 5 to 9 and b is equal to 2 5 6 sum is equal to 5 to 
529 plus 256 sum is equal to 785 the end this program is a, is a program is the program is represented is a diagrammatically so that is a flow chart so for diagrammatical representation is a flow chart so we can understand easily the program concept next informal data flow diagram for bubble chart so here contain different kind of circle circle 1 circle 1 circle 2 circle 3 circle 4 circle 5 circle a transform circle b or circle a and circle b or input the to to going to combine the compute the c and go and produce the output for d and uh, and the intermediate process operator input y is mingled to d then to combination and processing and uh, produce the output d then another one output is contains compute e so compute e is a is a combined to input z then produce output e this is a informal flow chart next structured chart structured chart is a hierarchical structure and interconnection in a system so structured chart is a hierarchical structures structured charts differs from a flow chart in two ways so structured chart and flow chart is a difference in two ways one the structured chart has no decision box and the sequential ordering of task inherent so uh, here the structured chart can uh, no decision box another one sequential ordering one by one ordering the chart can be argumented with module by module specification of input and output parameter so uh, structure chart contains module by module specification one uh, one process doing to another process another pro process doing to next process so the uh, this chart contains module by module because uh, here no decision box no sequential ordering symbols used in construction of structured chart modules it represent the process of task of the system it is the three types one control module two sub module three library module control module means a control module branches to more than one sub module control modules contains more than one sub modules sub modules contain is module which is a part of the another module sub modules contains more than one child modules library module contain, contains a is a reusable and a revocable from any modules so suddenly helping modules i mean library modules helping modules or library modules here picture is uh, visible so upper upper circle upper square control module to having a two type of branches one is sub module another one is another one sub modules and isolate the library model it is a substitute model to help to the any modules next conditional call it represent that control module can select any of the sub module on the basis of some conditions here pictures displays the control module and below the um, diamond module the diamond module uh, branching to so uh, divided into two one is sub module another one is another one sub module so this um, diamond box is a conditional module so it represent the control module can select any sub modules basis some conditions here to divide it into the two sub module but uh, two sub module uh, coming from the diamond shape another one loop repetitive call of module it represent the repetitive execution of 
மாடியூல் பை த சப் மாடியூல் எ கவுட் ஏரோ ரெப்ரஸண்ட் லூப் இன் த மாடியூல்ஸ் லைக் வைல் லூப் ஃபார் லூப் தட்ஸ் ஃபங்க்ஷனாலிட்டி டூயிங் லைக் தட் ஸோ ஃபஸ்ட் மாடியூல் கண்டென்ட் அண்ட் ஃபஸ்ட் மாடியூல் டிவைட் இன் இன்டூ த்ரீ பார்ட் ஃபஸ்ட் பார்ட் இன் சப் மாடியூல் செகண்ட் பார்ட் இல் இஸ் அனதர் ஒன் சப் மாடியூல் தேர்ட் பார்ட் இஸ் அனதர் ஒன் சப் மாடியூல்ஸ் பட் கண்ட்ரோல் மாடியூல் இஸ் இய ஃபார் ரிப்பீட்டட் அவ இட் செல்ஃப் திட் இஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ஏ லூப்பிங் ஸோ ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் கால்ஸ் இட் செல்ஃப் திஸ் இஸ் ஏ வைல் லூப் ஃபார் ஆர் ஃபார் லூப் கண்டிஷன்ஸ் டு யூஸிங் லூப் மாடியூல் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் டேட்டா ஃப்ளோ இட் ரெப்ரஸண்ட் த ஃப்ளோ ஆஃப் டேட்டா பிட்வீன் த மாடியூல்ஸ் இட் ரெப்ரஸண்டட் பை டைரக்டட் ஏரோ வித் எம்டி சர்க்கிள் அட் த எண்ட் ஸோ ஹி ஆர் கண்டென்ட் டூ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டைப் ஆஃப் மாடியூல்ஸ் த டூ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டைப் ஆஃப் மாடியூல்ஸ் கனெக்டட் ஈச் அதர் ஒன் மாடியூல் கோயிங் டு அப்பர் சைட் அனதர் மாடியூல் கோயிங் டு டவுன் ஸோ திஸ் ரெப்ரஸண்டட் லைக் த டேட்டா ஃப்ளோ த டேட்டா த ஃப்ளோ ஆஃப் அப்பர் the data flow of downwards so the the data uh, arrow contains the empty circle that is a men, uh, that circle is mentioned to where data is going control flow it represents the flow of control between the modules it represented by directed arrow with filled circle at the end another one here a difference between um, both uh, model here circle is a filled the color is a uh, black color so two modules contains so two mod- each module to interconnection each other one module uh, direction is upper side another module con- direction is downwards but uh, only one differentiate the arrow arrow with filled the circle is a darkness at the end next physical storage physical storage is the where all the information are to be stored that is a memory part i mean database part so physical storage so main storage is a main memory so all activity all information data process internal structures and data structures and and controls everything so data collection of data is stored in the physical storage so storage is the, that where all the information are be stored inside of the physical memory that represented the square next examples of s- structure chart here the process file program is divided into three part one is read file another one is process record another one is generator report the process record contains two subdivided one is print record another one print error so first one the process file program so interconnected the read file another one process record interconnected the process file program another one generate report to interconnect the process file program the main program to interconnect each other then is a main is a parent another one is a sub program is a child another one the process record contain two more childs print record another one print errors so record is storing in print record error is coming to store to print errors so these are the structure chart thank you